Hi. So today I'm actually not going to introduce you like, you know, hi, this is me and we are going to talk to Abhishek Bachchan because the fact of the matter is you really do not need an introduction. But this man is. So today we are going to talk about Bob, Bob Biswas and we all have watched the trailer and we are very, very intrigued to know actually what's going to happen to this man and why he forgot everything. So tell me. Well, I, I can't tell you why he uh, forgets everything because that would be revealing a bit too much. Mm -mm. But um, when the movie opens, you discover that Bob has just come out of a coma. Yes. And he's lost his memory. Yes. Um, and he's then told that he has a very happy, settled family life. Uh, a wife, a son, a daughter. And it's a very nice middle class Indian existence and he's really enjoying it when his past catches up with him mm. and you realize that his past was completely contrary to the kind of life that he's leading mm -hmm. and how he has to deal with it mm. and um, that made it uh, very interesting it's filled with a lot of internal conflict and it was yeah, fun yeah you know there are a few things in the trailer few moments actually in the trailer that for me those are like very interesting point for me to talk about firstly when at times he is almost like a child when he is asking that you know uh, that we don't have money we don't have money we don't have money we don't like you know there are so many those, those moments and yes tell me like when you are you are trying to understand this man what, are, what was your process like to get into the you know the frame of mind of that well, person well yeah well thank you out. for that because that's, that's a really nice question and nobody's asked me that the point is what was really exciting about this character is Sujoy who wrote the script mm -mm. Um, when we were just going through some of our readings we were discussing how to approach Bob and what's really nice is there there are no conditions to the character because he's somebody who's forgotten everything so you get to create him and his mind space from zero so it wasn't you actually were a man or he behaves like this or he will do like this. It's not that. He doesn't know anything. anything. So he has to rediscover everything. So when you see stuff like when, uh, you know, when Mary, his wife says, we don't have money, he says, we don't have money. He doesn't know. So how would you react to a situation? I remember that scene, we're sitting, mm -hmm. um, you know, the scene where we're sitting in a park and we're having lunch. I've yes. taken her out for lunch. Yes. And um, he says, you know, Let's move to Kalimpong. Hmm. So, he said, why do you go to Kalimpong? It's a good place. He said, it's very expensive. We don't have enough money. So, he said, okay, we don't have enough money. He doesn't go to the chalk. What are you talking about? He does Because it's the first time for him. You know what I'm saying? Then there's, a, there's another scene later on where a, where a lady who's begging on the street, she asks him for money. He says, do you have money? He says, no, but... He doesn't know. He doesn't know where he is. So he's like that. So, you know, there was no particular way in which Bob would react. Yeah. So you, you had to just literally build him up. So that gave us a lot of freedom to play with him. I had a conversation with Shujad and he, what he was telling me another a very challenging part that what he was talking about was the logistic of it because you know like you know in between the, when you guys uh, went to Kolkata to shoot the film and then the, the pandemic happened and then Amphan happened and there are a lot of things that the whole like what he was saying ki how tough it was for him logistically also and you are leaving that character Abhishek how, how difficult emotionally difficult was it for you to like you know not doing anything maybe in between and then coming back to that uh, how, how difficult was it for you? For me, um, you know, emotionally it was fine. It was, to pick up on Bob after 10 months was fine. Uh, I had a challenge with keeping the weight on. Um, I have to be candid about that. It was very difficult. Um, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd become about 100, 105 kilos for the film, which you can see. Uh, because I wanted the paunch to show. I wanted the cheeks to be round. I wanted his face to be like that. And I put on the weight because I knew that would help me in my performance. You don't need to act that kind of stuff then. Um, to maintain 100, 105 kilos is very, very difficult. Um, yeah, so that that was the most challenging thing for me during the lockdown. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it, 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 it's very cumbersome. It comes in the mm -hmm. way and it's, it's, it's not know. fun. So that for me, it was more a physical problem of keeping the weight on. Weight on. Uh, tell me, uh, 
this is not the first time as i was saying like you know we have seen you like you know going to some extent where like you know there is no vanity and you do not even care about it right like you know you are the face of the film no 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 we care about it <laughs> <laughs> no but you know people people asked me and i was thinking about what was the first challenge of playing bob this was mm-hmm. i think the first challenge is you have to leave your vanity in your hotel room and step out without it it was uh, i think that once you once i overcame that as actors you're trained to be vain you know it's it's a visual medium you have to look in a particular way and that's good but when you're in front of the camera you have to be the character so yes it was um, it was a challenge i mean i i'll, I'll never forget a joke with uh, chitrangada about it mm-hmm. uh, the first time i actually met chitrangada was when i first reached yes. kolkata and yes. um, um i was walking through the lobby going to my room and you know she was in the same hotel so she was having dinner in the coffee shop mm-hmm. or the, one of the restaurants she came and said hello to me and you know, it was very nice and it was the first time i was going to be working with her i think i've met her socially maybe just possibly once before that and uh, the next day was the first day of shoot and you know so that evening hello hi how are you okay looking forward to it. thank you went to sleep uh, sorry the next day we had our table reads we did that everything was fine but the first day on set you know and i keep joking with her that here she was saying oh you know i'm working with diaz directing the film and you know shujoy who she's a big fan of and she's been wanting to work with i'm going to be working in a film written by shujoy it's produced by sharuk who she's a big fan of i'm working with abhishek pop biswas and i walked on to set in hair and makeup and she was like oh <laughs> <laughs> you know? and i i always make fun of i said you know that that first look should have crushed me because i was like <laughs> here she must have been thinking ki, you know i don't know what kind of abhishek bachchan is going to come and suddenly bob biswas showed up and she was like oh <laughs> <laughs> but i said contrary to me being very disappointed i was actually very happy because that meant the, the character was working well, yeah. you know another another story i love to tell is i knew um that the character and the look was working because we were shooting and i have a you know an an, an apple iphone mm. which has facial recognition to open the phone mm-hmm. and i remember the first day i went to that and it refused to recognize my yeah. face and i jumped up and i went and told sujoy i said sujoy the phone is in recognizing my face So so I think very early on we had this whole notion that the look was was correct for the film. Mm-hmm. So okay. um yeah it was yeah. yeah vanity was left in <laughs> Mumbai. <laughs> we we were in Kolkata yeah. Right right. Uh we we have to talk about the city Kolkata because you yes. should just film like you know he literally captured every phase of it. I'm sure this time it was not that fun because it was like pandemic and everything. Do you have any romance with the city called Kolkata? How of course who doesn't? You know um for me Kolkata is is a, is a emotion. It's not a city. Okay. And I think anybody who lives there will tell you that. It's not about a city. It's just Kolkata is an emotion. Um Kolkata has always been so hyped up for me when I was a child because I used to hear all these stories of my from my father. My mm. father lived there for 5 years. Mm. He mm. worked there before he became an actor. And he, you know he speaks so romantically about Kolkata and in the 60s it was fantastic and you know the the nightlife and the kind of work they used to do and ev- um and now with bob i got to see a very different side of kolkata that i'd never seen before mm-hmm. i saw it through the eyes of sujoy india so it wasn't esplanade it wasn't park street it is what you hear mm. it was tangra it was the flower floating mm-hmm. flower market it was mm. it was a world of kolkata which also exists which you don't really get to see very often mm-hmm. coupled with the the kind of food that you get in kolkata in winters we were shooting in january february the amount of nolongur that i have eaten Asian over there <laughs> and the kathi rolls huh. the biryani and i find i mean the, the there's a lot of discussion there's a lot of debate log jhagda karte hain my verdict is my personal view is final the world's greatest biryani is in kolkata Okay. Full stop. <laughs> with the anda, with the alu, alu. it's there. <laughs> Best kathi rolls, bacha kathi rolls. Yes, bacha. Full stop. Bacha, bacha. No debate. <laughs> no debate. That's it. <laughs> you are winning all the hearts. Oh <laughs> my God! I went nuts. I mean, literally, 
because I had to eat a lot of food to maintain the weight. To, yeah, you had to. So maintain I had a free hand. Had so free every hand. day, um, Shujo used to get me a dabba of, of. I mean, I, I I will not ruin it by saying it in Bengali, but jal bhara shondesh. Jal bhara shondesh. Yeah, <laughs> every morning for breakfast. That was that. Lunch, we finally eventually had to get this one cook who used to cook kosha mongsho for me every day wow. with ghee. <laughs> yeah. Evening snack was biryani and dinner was patcha kati roll. Full stop. Wow. What Abhishek fun, you no? Had, Abhishek, you yeah, had, so, like, all so, the best things so, in the world. So, you know, log mujhe poochte ki, you know, you had to really work hard and the physical transformation. And little did they know that I was on an eating spree. That's it. I was just, I was like, aaj khane mein kya milne wala hai. That was it. So, for me, Kolkata is an emotion. Uh, the character is a Bengali character, right? So another thing that I would like to know is that ki, uh, I know that you know the you are you are quite familiar with the sound of the language Bengali, but uh, was there any uh, effort that you are putting? No, uh, no. To That's something uh, Sujoy, as the writer, decided. He said, "Let's not get into accents." Okay. So if you see uh, most of the, the the main characters. We've kept a very universally understood kind of language because yes. the, the, a lot of the other cast, uh, like if you take, I mean, we had legends like Porunda who were in the film. And you he know? spoke in Bengali. Yes, in yes. So, so, so we wanted Bob and his family to be very uh, universally appealable in that sense. So it was a conscious decision on uh, Shujoy's part not to write it as a very Bengali character. Okay. Also, we have to remember he's somebody who has no memory. So there's no pre there's no conditioning to him in that sense. Right. So it was written in that way. So we actually stayed away from it. It's something I was very keen to do. I said it'd be so nice. Let's keep that very heavy Bengali accent, uh, you know, a Bengali twang in the way he speaks Hindi. You know, there's a very particular way Bengalis pronounce Hindi when they speak. Um, but Sujoy was very clear that he didn't want that, and um, and Dia and I were convinced with his approach. Hmm. Hmm. So, but uh, how will you name it? Like, is it uh, Bob Bishash or Bob Biswas? So, that was another debate because um, Bob ka ek takya kalam hai. Haan. Namaskar. Haan. I'm a Bob Bishash. Ek minute. Ek minute. So, it's not, you, you, uh, a Bengali will not say ek minute. Haan. They'll say ak minute. Ak minute. Haan, haan, haan. Correct. Haan. So, we consciously stayed away from it. So, there was a big debate on this. Ki when I say, should I say Bob Biswas? Because to the rest of the world, it's Bob Biswas, mm -hmm. but to a Bengali, it's Bob Bishash. Bishash. So the the debate was what is completely true to the environment and the world of the film mm -hmm. to what is something that everybody can relate to. Mm -hmm. So Sujoy, Dia, and I decided let's go with something which is more universally relatable. And that is. And so we say Bob Biswas, but in the film he says Bob Bishash, Bishash. Okay. but he'll say ek minute, he won't say ak minute. Right. So we stayed away from that. Quite kind of a combination, huh? Yes. Quite kind of a combination, yes. very interesting, yes. very, very interesting. Uh, did, you, uh, did you sit down with your family and watch the film? I was talking No, to can you imagine and, and if you have any influence with Shujoy, please catch him in complete. Shujoy hasn't even shown me the film, let alone my family. He said, ki, listen, I love sir. And like you know, I, I said he like because he had a long association and relationship with him and all that. You should ask so, him how that relationship and association started, and because of who it started. Hey, tell me that story, man. Then. Yeah, yeah. Because whoa. of me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And now what happened? he just what happened? now everything the promo. Oh, I showed sir. I said mujhe tu dikha to picture ka hero mein. No. <laughs> film I'll show sir. I said show. I've not seen the film. I'm promoting the film. I have not seen the end product. He said, ki like, you know, I'm just trying to correct it. And he said, you mean half Bengali, half Hindi? He said, uh, Baba, re, I am I am tensed. You know, I'm okay, I'm okay. I have to get everything correct before I show it to ma'am and sir. Ah, so, mera naam to liya hoga usne. Uh, it is on record. Yeah, see, taking for granted. I've not seen the film. <laughs> I mean, today is the 24th. The film is releasing in nine days. I've not seen the film. Yeah, hey, Gosh Babu. <laughs> We are discussing how you are preparing the film because you have to get it right to show it to Mr. Amitabh Bachchan and Mrs. Jaya Bachchan. 
there's no discussion, thought process, consideration about the hero of the film having not seen the film. There's only sir. Dekha? He loves her. We all love him. I know you also. I also know, love but him. Yeah. <laughs> but 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 I, what is the frame of mind now? Within within uh, nine days, within seven days, the film is released. You haven't seen the film, so. Tell yeah, me. but I mean, we made it. So I mean, there's there's a certain amount of comfort and confidence that we've given it our best shot. Uh, the trailer is the first chalak of what we've done, and that's been received well. So, so you, there's a bit of relief that okay, you know, people are on the same page as us. Yeah. Obviously, there's always that butterfly in the stomach of how it's going to be received. But I think uh, we should all be very proud of the kind of film that Dia has made, and um, that's all we can do as people that are associated in the making of the film. Well, uh, wish you all the best. Thank and you. I know that the film is definitely gonna kill it. Like. Just bubble sponge is like pun, pun intended. <laughs> yes. <laughs>